Good evening, parents, teachers, members of our greater community, and most importantly, class of 2020. My name is Lydia Namie, and I welcome you to eCube's 2020 commencement. We hope you enjoy our unique but memorable graduation. At this time, I would like to introduce Eridania Urania de Jesus, who will help me with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now I would like to invite London Stallworth to sing the national anthem. Congratulations. Congratulations on graduating high school and doing it under very challenging circumstances. You deserve special recognition for that. I know this wasn't exactly the senior year that you had hoped for. You miss seeing your friends and going to school. You miss playing spring sports, your favorite activities, having your senior prom. And even this graduation isn't the traditional graduation that you thought you were going to have. Um, I wish it could have been different for you, but here's the thing. You did it. You persevered. And that is something you should always be proud of. High school can be hard, and your senior year can be hard under any circumstances. Graduating high school in your senior year through the coronavirus crisis was doubly hard. You couldn't go to school. Everything became homework. You missed your friends. You missed your teachers. Distance learning dragged on. But always remember, you have what it takes to work through these challenges. That's why you're here today. I am so proud of you. And the class of 2020 will always have this common experience. So I encourage you to stay in touch with your friends, stay in touch with your teachers, because you live through something very special together. And even though it was hard, you learned how to persevere through challenges. So today, you've earned your degree. You stuck with it, you made it to the finish line. Say thank you 
to your teachers and your parents and your friends who stuck with you to get to the finish line. Give yourselves a huge pat on the back and know that I am very proud of you. And know that this proves you have what it takes to deal with the ups and downs of life. I know the future is uncertain a little bit. It's uncertain for all of us. I know times are tough. Maybe it's financially difficult. Maybe you're still lonely. Social distancing is still difficult. But we're going to get through this. And the same way you supported each other to get here today, I want you to keep doing that. Be a good friend. Be there for others. Look in on a neighbor. That, those are the stories that have inspired me and given me strength, and I want them to inspire you and give you strength. So whatever comes next for you, college, the military, a job, be proud of today. Know you're smart kids. Know you have a high school degree that means something. And know that you have the talent and abilities, resilience and stamina to get through anything. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Enjoy your summer and look forward with hope to what lies ahead. I want to congratulate all the graduating seniors of the Class of 2020 in our beautiful state and across the nation. Congratulations. You have persevered over the last few months to complete your studies under the most unique of circumstances. All of you deserve our admiration. You are the class of 2020 and on your way to a new life and truly brand new world. I look forward to following your progress in the coming years and have all the faith that you will make our communities, our cities, our nation a better place for us all. Los quiero mucho a todos. Y como sus padres y madres, también estoy muy orgullosa de todo lo que han logrado. Con tantas barreras y obstáculos, se merecen todo ese éxito y mucho más. I admire you. You deserve all the accolades and so much more. We are extremely proud of you. Palante. Onward, Class of 2020. Congratulations to the Class of 2020. And congratulations also to all the parents and the loved ones that helped our students along the way. I know that this year hasn't turned out exactly how you imagined it, but because of your perseverance, your advocacy, and your kindness towards one another, you've accomplished this amazing, amazing feat. I want you to know that your city is proud of you. And as you go off and conquer the world, Always remember that this is home. Don't ever forget where you came from. And I can't wait to have you right here back in our city as the next generation of leaders that our city needs. Congratulations. To the 2020 graduating class, I just want to say congratulations. You did it. You did it. And I know that this year is not exactly what you expected. Things has changed a lot. But please remember all the good advice you got from your teachers, all the good moments you had with your classmates. But most importantly, remember that your family and friends are very, very proud of you. Congratulations. Hi, class of 2020. This is school board president Nick Hemond, and I just wanted to take a moment on behalf of the school board to wish you uh, congratulations on your graduation from high school. Certainly, uh, I'm sure your teachers and principals have told you uh, the class of 2020, for a lot of reasons, will be probably the most unforgettable class um, that any of us have ever had here in the Providence school system. Uh, certainly, when you preserved through a, a national crisis like all of you had. Um, it is a memorable event. Um, and while so many things that are important, like proms and graduation ceremonies uh, and all the festivities of a senior year, for many of you, your athletic seasons, um, your theater seasons have all gone by without the ability for you to participate in them. And while that, you know, for lack of a better term, certainly sucks. Um, this is a moment that you will look back on as a defining moment in your life. When I was in high school, uh, September 11th happened, and it changed me and, and many of my friends forever. It changed the way we looked at the world. Um, but through that crisis, so many of us uh, determined that we weren't going to sit by on the sidelines uh, and let the world happen around us, that that was a call to action for all of us. And whether it's been the uh, COVID crisis this year, whether it's been um, the turmoil in our own school district this year, 
um, or whether it's been the events of the last several weeks, what this shows you is if you don't step up to the plate and be the change you want to see in the world and be uh, a force for good in the world, um, you know, this is the world that you get. So uh, hopefully you'll take this opportunity um, to learn from it. It will make you stronger. Um, but remember, this is these are the moments in time that define us. And these are the moments that we need people like you as a city to come back, to go out, get your education, come back and make our city and our country great. And I know that all of you will be able to do that because you've already uh, persevered through so much. Uh, and you are a great example of the greatness in Providence schools and everything that is right in Providence schools. So I congratulate you. Good luck. Hello, class of 2020. I am Harrison Peters. As turnaround superintendent, I came here five months ago to lead real change in Providence Public Schools. From day one, I made it clear that I felt students, you, deserve the world-class education and that you were waiting on us, the adults in the community, to take meaningful action. Within the month of my arrival, the coronavirus made districts across the U.S. pivot to an entirely different mode of learning. Providence had a few weeks to pull together a distance learning plan for 24,000 students and literally less than 24 hours notice to prepare and deploy thousands of Chromebooks. The change was mind-blowingly fast, but our team of wonderful educators and committed students succeeded in making distance learning a reality. I'm immensely proud of this community for how well we stepped up. People ask me, if this frightening health crisis has derailed our plans for transforming Providence schools? My answer is simple. The world may change, but our commitment cannot waver. In times of crisis, it is even more important that we stay laser focused on our students and their needs. I know many families have been affected by this pandemic, affected physically, emotionally, and economically. We are all hurting. Please know that your school community will continue to be here for you when you need us. Speaking of hurting, this past month, the entire country has been agonizing for another reason. One which I, a black man in America, feel in my core. George Floyd's murder, let's call it what it really is. His murder was not an isolated incident. Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, Freddie Gray, Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, Trayvon Martin, say their names. Their names are just a small part of a list of names that is too long and has gone on too long. Like COVID-19, racism is a virus that has killed and continues to do so. And it is a virus that we must work to eradicate once and for all. Young people, Thank you for using your voices in organized and peaceful protests. Thank you for calling out the inequitable treatment of people of color. That is long overdue. I believe in you, and I believe you are helping make positive change. If this year has taught us anything, it is to expect the unexpected, to be agile in the face of diversity, and to stay true to yourself and your goals. Take graduation, for example. Like you, I had imagined this moment today to unfold very differently. I am sorry that we cannot all be together physically to celebrate this momentous occasion, but do not forget your sacrifice today is helping keeping the larger community healthy and safe. It is no small sacrifice and your community thanks you. Let me make something else very clear. How we are gathering today should in no way diminish why we are gathering today. We are here because you showed up, you worked hard, and you earned that high school diploma. Some of you will pursue, pursue careers like Damaris Rose, who in four short years learned English, excelled in school, and is now joining the CNC operator program. Others of you will go on to college. Some of you with full rides to the college of your choice like Janelle Ramos of Alvarez High School, who will attend the College of Holy Cross. Jennifer Santiago Plaza of Mount Pleasant High School, who will attend Northeastern University. And Elvis Rodriguez of Central High School, who will attend URI's 
Talent Development Program. And let's not forget the record number seven classical scholar athletes who have signed with Division I colleges for the fall. Many of you, like Hector Guerrero Pimentel of Hope High School's award-winning Blue Wave Battalion, were into the military after graduation. As a proud Navy veteran, let me be the first to thank you for your service. Please know that your PPSD family is proud of you all and your accomplishments. Recently, my son Kenneth and I were watching the movie Black Panther. There's a scene when T'Challa and Umbaku were fighting for the throne of Wakanda. At one point, when Umbaku was getting the best of T'Challa, T'Challa mom's Romanda looked at him and yelled, show them who you are. Immediately, T'Challa found the inner strength to turn the tide of the fight, emerge as victor, and retain the throne of Wakanda. I give that same charge to you. Show them who you are. Show them in your community. Show them in your industry. Show them in your, in your achievement. Show them in your words and in your deeds. Show them you are PPSD. Class of 2020, your superintendent is tremendously proud of you. And I'm proud of what you have accomplished. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you. Well, good evening to all members of our school community. And thank you to all of the dignitaries for their kind and inspirational words earlier uh, to the class of 2020. My name is Mr. Mendelson, and I have had the pleasure of being the principal of EQB Academy uh, this past year. I hope you are enjoying our unique but unforgettable commencement ceremony. To our wonderful class of 2020, on behalf of our entire school community, I want to express how incredibly proud we are of your wonderful and great accomplishment. And please savor this special moment. Your achievement is especially remarkable given the events of the past three months. Whether you realize it or not, this has been the most dif difficult test you have taken as a student. And congratulations, you passed it with flying colors. Over the course of four years, and most especially since March, you have, you have exhibited all of the great qualities of an EQ Panther. Vision, strength, industriousness, perseverance, and resilience. You are indeed the best and brightest of the Providence School District. And again, congratulations. In closing, I would like to wish you all good health, unlimited happiness and joy, and great achievement and success with your future endeavors. Class of 2020, I wish you all the best, and remember in life, always reach higher. Thank you. Now, I have the privilege and honor to introduce our salutatorian, Jocelyn Cruz Maraquin, and our valedictorian, uh, Akila Amir, who will address the class of 2020. On behalf of EQ Academy, we are very proud of you, and congratulations. Hi, everyone. My name is Jocelyn Cruz, and I'm a current senior at EQ Academy. And today I'm here as your salutatorian, and I'm, I was given the opportunity to give the graduation speech. I hope you like it. My outline started with speak about your journey. I never really thought about it, to be honest, until the moment I had to write the speech on my last day of high school. As many students, I also lost the motivation to do anything related with school. I didn't even want to be here, but I pulled myself together and here I am. I know that you have probably heard that typical immigrant story, you know, where the kid comes from a different country, has to learn the language. Well, that's my story. Four years ago, I started high school without knowing a single word of English. I knew how to say hi, maybe green and yellow, but that was it. I didn't know how to express myself and I hated it. I isolated myself from everyone, not because I didn't know the language, but also because I was trying to understand the cultural differences and because I didn't feel like I fit in in this society. I was only 13. I felt lost, unwanted, unappreciated, 
even useless. But I was also trying to build a new life in a new country that was 100% different from mine. I depended on people who could translate for me because I didn't even know how to ask permission to go to the restroom or to do anything at all. Like I said before, I hated it. So I pushed myself hard to study every day for about six months, but then I got bored and I stopped. I learned a lot by myself, but I was scared to have a real conversation with someone. And on my sophomore year, I transferred to Equipped Academy. In some way, I was kind of forced to take regular English classes. I didn't want to first, but I ended up taking them. I can't tell you how many times I cried uh, trying to do Mrs. Healy assignments, trying to do her essays. During Socratic seminars, I, will, I try to keep uh, everything short. I didn't want to put myself out there. And on my junior year, it was really the year where I put myself out there, where I stepped out of my comfort zone. I had more friends, and I was more confident in myself. I joined different organizations. I joined, I was an intern at Gilbane Company, which is a well-known company nationwide. The first week, I hated it. I was the only Hispanic girl, and as you can see, I'm short too. So I really felt intimidated by the white presence. Uh, most of my coworkers were white men, really tall, by the way. But I felt intimidated. I felt like I wasn't good enough. But as time went by, I gained more confidence in myself and I started to speak up for myself. I also joined an organization for first generation students. I joined a volleyball team. And I was also awarded from the state for, for my civic leadership skills. This year, my last year of high school, I was supposed to walk on that stage. I deserved it. We deserved it. But because of everything that's going on in the world, we couldn't. And here I am today giving this speech to a camera. It's not that bad, actually. But we made it regardless of everything. So I'm proud of each one of you. Where do I see myself in 10 years? That's a hard question. But who knows, maybe Spain, China, I don't know. But I definitely see myself accomplishing my goals and in some way contributing to the education system in my country, giving back to my community and starting an organization for immigrant students. During my time at Equipped Academy, I learned a lot, not only academically, but also as a person. I gained more confidence in myself. Even though I, I don't feel 100% sure for college, I appreciate that effort from every teacher and every member stuff, every staff member. Four years ago, like I said, I didn't know English and I never would have thought that I would give in this speech but here I am giving a speech to a very, very unique and special class, class of 2020. We all had our own problems. My problems were different from yours, but we managed to keep it up and we made it. The class of 2020 is gonna be a class that nobody will ever forget. Just have that in mind. We didn't have our graduation as we expected, but we made it and that's the most important thing. And I just wanna say, that I am, I am really, really proud of each one of you. And my best wishes for you and your new journey. I know that we all are gonna take uh, different pathways in life, but just remember to keep up the hard work and to never give up. And one more time, I am proud of each one of you, class of 2020. Hello everyone, my name is Akila Amir. I am your valedictorian. The first thing that I would like to emphasize on is that just because I hold this title, it does not make me superior than any of my fellow seniors. We all have special gifts and abilities, and I thank and respect each and every one of you for being here and listening to me. All my introverted friends will understand my pain. In these four years of high school, students and teachers at Equipped Academy provided me with such a nurturing environment where I, I was able to work and improve on my personal skills. I was a good student, 
but I lacked self-confidence. If I had to speak up or share my thought, I chose to stay quiet because I didn't have the courage to do so. The value of self-confidence cannot be neglected because no matter how smart an individual is, if they can't raise their voice, speak up, or share their opinion or belief, then they are no better than a doormat. Because people are able to walk all over you and take advantage of you. I would like to thank all my teachers and fellow students for motivating me and pushing me to work on my self-confidence. Because of them, I wanted to do better in my classes. Thank you to all the teachers for creating those cardiac moments where I was forced to talk. It was extremely helpful and they will also come handy to me in future. My next step will be that I'll be attending TCRI for two years and working on obtaining a degree in dental hygiene, but it's not going to stop there. I will continue my education and my journey of learning and overall becoming a better version of myself. I dream to become successful and live the life that I desire. And for that, I will work hard to achieve it. Being at EQ Academy and doing the Summit Self-Directed Learning Program has successfully prepared me for college and life by teaching me valuable skills such as responsibility, time management, and organization. So I would like to say thank you to the Summit Learning Platform for introducing such an advanced way of learning and making me college ready. And to all my graduating class, it is all good if you're sure or unsure about where you are heading with your life, but don't doubt your capabilities. <laughs> because if you have come this far, you can go further. Have fun, have a good life, and I wish you guys all the best. Thank you. Rudalania Acosta Upia. Harold Aldana. Argel Almonte Estevez. Aquila Amir. Olivia Aparicio. Jorge Ardea. Domingo Arivallo. Isabella Bartlett. Mariara Betrez. Jaslyn Benzant. Festina Bird. Ruth Camacho. Idalina Cardoso. Damani Carpenter. Jenea Ciprian. Brian Clairville. I just want to thank all of those who believed in me these past four years at EQ, and for all of those that said I didn't smile. Eric Cologne. Dejanay Cordero. Jocelyn Cruz Maraquin. Joshua Davis. Josu Diaz. Osenu Fall. Jose Felix Jimenez. Hi, I'm 
Jose Felix. Thank you for all EQ Academy. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my teacher. This four I'm going to you arrive. Thank you for Malachi Fleming. Catherine Gagnon. Nicole Garay Salas. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, you must do the thing you think you cannot do. And I graduated. I did that. Benjamin Giron. Janilda Gonzalez. Sophia Gonzalez. Edison Guarcus. Jamie Gira. Rosamond E. B. Toye. Deja Jackson. Giovanni Joseph. Brevin Chapman. Aviana Lovett. Caitlin Loyo. Manuel Marin. Leticia Martinez. Giovanni Macheo. Juanza Montero. Marlene Morales. Isis Moreno. Niat Mulagetta. Chantra and Goen. Mark Bryan and Crabo. Tianali Northup. Lydia Anamiyi. Lynette Ortiz Severino. Olivia Perron. Angel Pichardo de la Cruz. Jashari Rodriguez. Raylin Rodriguez. Annie Rodriguez Diaz. Ronaldo Santiago Lopez. Emily Sisawath. Adonis Soberall. London Stallworth. Ricardo Sushiti. Michaela Lee Tavares. Elizabeth Tejada. Aliyah Thavone. Lismares Torres. Supatai Trichan. Eridania Urena de Jesus. Edwin Varela. Angel Vasquez. Jose Vasquez Polino. 
Bailey Watson. Noah White. Noah White, class of 2020, CCRI in the fall to study communication, dream career about being a radio host. I want to thank my friends and family. Akila Young. Anika Young. with me. 